Hey, welcome back. Another Tuesday and another cool design tool for your Tuesday. In this session, I'm going to show you some old tool I used back in the day religiously. You know, back in the day, like fractal backgrounds and web space and web design and development were just all the rage. I, I'm trying to recall exactly what year it was, maybe around 2010, so almost a decade ago. But nevertheless, there are always a need for things like that, which make, you know, something different because you can apply it to so many different bits. You can blend it on top. You, still, the fractalization of this tool makes it such an applicable thing in your design work because you can always break boundaries. You can always, you know, re, re spark that trend if you do it nicely and if you do it properly because you can merge different things. That's how innovation happens to begin with. But without further ado, let me show you what DMesh is actually doing because, you know, I purchased this tool back in the day. My license still lasts and I've never been happier because it's always something I refer to when I talk to junior designers and they don't know how to make a fancy background, let's say, which would be fractal. DMesh, you basically just open bitmap an image and then it fractalizes it for you. It makes it much more abstract. But let's so say this is the, the background I want to play with for my mobile app or something. I'm gonna export it as a JPEG, go back to DMesh, and I'm gonna load an image. Quite a uh, old school vintage interface, you can tell, right? But nevertheless, you know, you can't overlook it. And if I load this thing, as you can see, it automatically creates me fractals, and then I can add new points for it to make it more fractalized and more diamondy, per se. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, here you can also check the color of the pointer so you can make it white you can actually disable it you can reduce the opacity so it's all quiet neat but let's say if i make it 300 you can see the outlines point density you can increase it but once you start adding the points you're gonna see that it fractalizes your image you can also preview it against different backgrounds but as you can see that's that's how you do it basically and it's just because it's such a subtle a gradient and maybe that's the background you're looking for you can also save it really quickly and as you can see it made this type of background which I can edit and do other things with it and so if I open a new image and let's see let's check something a bit different so I'm opening Legos automatically you're gonna see that it creates much more powerful thing and it's because the image is so large, it doesn't even fit, but you can see the application of it and how cool that could look like. And you can edit all those points. You can disable the points as well. Let's say if I disable it, you can have this type of background and you can of course play with it too. And you can see exactly that I'm, I'm taking this image and I'm putting into DMesh and that's the result. So let me just take those points out. But as you can see, the more contrast there is between the colors, the more fractal it gets. And if I, let's say, would open a totally different image, what could be maybe this one? As you, boom. As you can see, it's quite crazy. But now imagine if you would make it for each, each frame in your video or something like that. That could produce a cool effect for, let's say, a music video or something like that. Again, it it's, depends on the trend, but as you can see, I can add or remove different points, put them on, you can see how many there are. So it's up to you what sort of art you want to make with this, what sort of design you want to make with it, but you can make a lot of different things with that. Let's try one more. So let's say this is a photo. As you can see, the more complex the image, the more fractalized it gets, but that's quite cool. One more bit, let me just take this background screenshot. Let's see what this looks like in DMesh. You are gonna find a place, but it can create, you know, different type of backgrounds for you to have and, and do things. So I hope this video was useful for you. I hope you find an inspiration and how you can use your tool. Back in the day, this was an amazing tool. Now you have to find a use case, but nevertheless, it's an awesome tool. It's a cool tool for UI design and graphic design. And so give it a go. There is a free version, there is a pro version. It's up to you which one you go for. If you like this video, give a like, uh, share with your friends, and as per usual, I'll see you next time.